Well, I'm telling you, we tearing this motherfucking ass up. I got a motherfucking. Oh, I got a package. Oh, hold and found a package. Oh, hold and found a package. Hall oh, got him a package. <laughs> he done found a package. Damn, Hall done found him a package. Give me my shit. Boy, that's a lucky motherfucker, boy. But luck don't last long. My package outweigh the luck. Uh. Oh yeah. And a six yard gain gets him right around the forty three. Boy, if you don't get your ass somewhere and, and, and get you some yards. But with intelligence, how about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. Ooh, put it on the left hand. Put it on his left hand. So he put it on his left hand. He ain't man to man. All right, uh, get your arm loose, uh, Tom. Get your arm loose, Tom. Not right now, Tom. We got protege. Uh. I need you to break a tackle, protege. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front. They won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throwing on second and eight, Brady. And this is incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. But with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Brady gives this to White, and he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now Brady on the bootleg. Oh, shit. Oh! Play it on out, brother. Don't quit. Play it on out. This is this just, this just preseason, brother. We just get some work in. You need to work on your quick game anyway. Cause you're gonna have some niggas blitz you, but I don't know if they got my package, nigga, but you need to see some of this. And I gotta get my offense together. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. 
It's been a tough go for them. It's still without any points here in the fourth quarter. And a big deficit, Charles. But they moved the football on some drives. They just haven't had any points. And they feel again. Look at Shrek. You better get that, Shrek. There you go. Boy, I got a package, nigga. I got a mother. I got these motherfuckers out here playing. Ooh, I got these motherfuckers out here playing. I got these motherfuckers out here playing. Ooh, I got a motherfucking package. Get this nigga. Get this nigga. Where the hit stick? Where my hit stick? Hell, they ain't let me strip it. They need to pack the clock and motherfucking strip. Where my, my strip at? They ain't even pack. Fucking implemented the strip. This mother, you know what? They rushed this game. They rushed this motherfucker. They ain't got everything in it. The motherfucker out in Silicon Valley ain't coming to work either. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Throwing Mayfield. Give me my shit. Boom! I've hit that motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about, boy. I got a package, nigga. If you trade, thank you getting a loose. If you thank you getting a loose, nigga. If you thank you getting a loose. I got a package for a nigga who thank he getting a loose. Go bait him. That's a bait. That ain't nothing but a bait. Boom! That ain't nothing but a bait. Hit him. Hit his ass. He, ooh, he hurt. He gonna, ooh, he gonna be hurting in the morning. He gonna be hurting in the morning. All right, stay on top of him. Stay on top of him. Stay on top of it. Stay on top of it. Stay on top of it. You see where he's going. Good job. Good job. And how Murph Bunt, how in the hell are you? Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Mayfield. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I tell you, I got a motherfucking package. Ooh, I got a package. What was the sent from? Oh. Uh, I got a package. Oh, that'll be incomplete. No, he took a shot as he let the Mr. Postman. And it's going to bring up a third down. This Tampa Bay defense, they held strong on the first two plays. Now third and goal. Again, he'll drop Good job. I couldn't get over you garbage ass nigga. Garbage ass, they couldn't get over. Smile about it. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you going? You're going slow clap on me. Throw it if you want. Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice. 
pass on offense, it's been a struggle. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing football. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some boxing, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. On the handoff, this is White. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They stay on the ground with White. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Brady going to throw here. Incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. <laughs> well, partner, nothing but praise for me for this <laughs> offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. Throwing on first down is Brady. He'll get that out to the flat to White. Get up, get out there, Pros. Hey. Get it to him a little quicker. Now Brady again. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess? He didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. He wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. Well, fans expect these primetime slots to deliver some of the best games each week. And, well, one team has certainly followed through with that tonight. Just an absolute clinic, Charles, on offense here. And they don't seem to be done trying to drive that football. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Duke Dawson picks it. And the Panthers Dang. take possession here as they got it at their own four-yard line. Now they get a fourth-quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. Following the interception, Mayfield. And it's intercepted in the end zone. You talking about a package, nigga. You talking about, who they constantly eat. That's a defense that constantly eat, nigga. <laughs> Ooh, that's a defense that constantly eat. Nigga, eat, 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 eat. 
ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air and not much on this one takes it from the 21 and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. the panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Mm. That's all right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now, one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this ah. <laughs> Ooh, I got a package. I'm taking advantage of that slow wind up they got this year, man. It's, it's everybody. It's a slow wind up. I, I mean, it's taking so much. Yeah, I know it take it take all day. So if it's it's a mathematic thing, if I can get to you, well, you can get that motherfucker out of there. And and then the receivers is like they came in the camp out of shape. Them motherfuckers ain't clearing. So I mean it is what it is. Everybody blissing, but I got I got the package. I got the package. You wanna go one more time or you done? What's up? I said. and we are at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go, it's in the air. Taken from about the 12. And not a good return here at all. He's ever first to start at the 12 yard line.
Mayfield to throw on the first play. Levante David. He brought the pressure on the blitz, and he gets there for a loss of 12. And now the Bucs deciding to take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So a tough early challenge here, second and long after the sack. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air this fielded right at the goal line and not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is in his first throw of the game, but I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. I think maybe that tough rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First and ten, Mayfield got his man, Robbie Anderson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Mayfield with it once more. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So for Buccaneer territory now, it's first and ten at the 48-yard line. Mayfield looks to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Marshall. Second and six. To throw, Mayfield. That one complete to Anderson. And some room to work. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Carolina. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Gonzalo is able to tack on the PAT, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17. 
And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there. Really? Because they know they have the upper hand on that defense really? right now. Hey. Play action. Now it's Brady. Across the formation, he finds Godwin. They'll run for him. This is White. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Got him in, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Throwing on second and eight, Brady. And that will be what incomplete. a flag. Trying Let me take my man out of mid air. Way out there, but it'll be third okay. down. The turnover put Play him in ball. great field position. They don't want to squander it with third Play down ball. coming Let's up. Go. No, not at all. And you know what else you did? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. On third down, a run from White. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Opting to run again here with White. Look at him, boy, and he got some strength. And he got some strength. Oh, here we go. Here's that defense. Let's take this motherfucker over. Come on now. Take this motherfucker over. It's up and good, and it's 14 7 now here in the first quarter. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air this take it in at the goal line oh hit that knee inside the 20 good coverage as he's dropped at the 17 The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move, 
and knocked it away. To throw once more on second and ten, Mayfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. As soon as he leaked out, began his route. Someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Mayfield to throw it. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we got a football game going. Field to throw for it on Ford. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. On first down, Fournette going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage as he'll wind up losing a yard on the play. Fournette once more on second down. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Oh! You gotta be kidding me! Certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Suckup's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. They already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they have three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best of the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. After 117-7, the score on EA Sports. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Mayfield now. And this one is incomplete. Martin, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down.
Throwing Mayfield. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. They're indeed going. It's Mayfield. Flush. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. Well, I got dogs coming from everywhere. Boy, a real head scratcher there. My goodness, that means this next drive will begin four yards from the end zone already. And a failure on fourth down on the other side leads immediately Send the kids to a first saying, it don't matter. goal. Fournette. Man, if you don't uh, share that. Lose a couple back to the six. A loss of two there. Second down. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Second and goal from the six this time. They'll give Fournette another crack. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily, you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. That was the kind of play that this defense needed because it has not been a good half for them on that side of the football. Maybe they can use that one to regroup a little bit and start to play a little bit better. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. An incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And the Panthers' defense able to deliver the goal line stand. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break. In. He's got a man complete. A big play there for Carolina. 43 yards. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Mayfield. It completes it once more to Anderson. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Everyone has their strengths, able to move to their right or their left, being able to throw the football. So that means you've got to work on both because you never know which way you're going to get flushed by pressure. In this situation, able to escape to his left and makes an accurate throw. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. He's got room at the 30. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Now Mayfield. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's Moore. And down inside the 15 he goes. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Gonzalez good on the extra point and the leads down to a field goal at 17-14. Wow. 
The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. They keep it on the ground, right again. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now a give up the middle. This is White. Jeremy Chin there defensively. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Up the gun, Fournette. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Throwing now is Brady. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll go up the middle with White. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They run straight ahead here with White. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Cover, cover. Here's Brady. Going to throw right side here. Complete. Touchdown! Rashad Perriman in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bucks will extend their lead here just before halftime. time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Final play of the half, Mayfield. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. 
So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. Fields this way up at the 17. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. <laughs> The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Second half beginning with a run from Fournette. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Now a play fake, Brady. And that's incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. That is caught. It's Perriman. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A well-executed 22-yard gain. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. Fournette, a first down carry. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Second down, back to Fournette. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. He's going to look deep for Perriman. And this is caught inside the five. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Rashad Perriman, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bucs are able to strike for six. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken from about the 12. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. And Mayfield just getting the playoff. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And now the Bucs deciding to take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Mayfield looks to throw. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Shaquille Barrett able to drop in that 
time for his second sack of the evening. Uh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught along the sideline, and what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. They say that's a catch. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. First down, Mayfield. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that brings up third and a full ten yards. To throw Mayfield. That's complete out right to the tight end Tremble. Now Mayfield on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. On play action. Now Brady. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 33 yards. And the Buccaneers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point put through by Suckham. And the lead is now 24. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy in the 20, so the decision is out of the end zone. Not a good one. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And they feel again with the interception, his third. And they've got it very deep in enemy territory. It's inside the five at the three-yard line, first and goal. They're quite a turn of events. This is first and goal from the three. So after the INT, it's Brady. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The third touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Buccaneers get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Too strong, they get there and take him down. Well, I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the 
the traffic in order to get home to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Mayfield off the plate fake. There's Tremble, the tight end. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Pitching it out to McCaffrey. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. on third down tonight. Two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Mayfield now. And that will be incomplete. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though. No surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. Open man is Anderson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They go play action. Mayfield flushed out right. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Mayfield on play action. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Devin White in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. On third down, Mayfield. And oh no, it's incomplete. It's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Mayfield to throw for it on four. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. So the defense has to stay out of... Damn. Damn.